Vera has more of a chance of sub or KO? Um, KO. I don't think he submits Sandhagen. He's not much of a submission guy. He'll rather land shots in those positions than go for a sub, you know? So I'd rather, I, I think more chance of a KO. I don't think he beats. Him. I. What do you guys think about Vera versus Sandhagen? I think Sandhagen beats him comfortably as well. A little bit of an unpopular opinion, but I think he does beat him quite resoundingly in that matchup. You also thought Garn would beat Jones. <laughs> yeah, well done. I got one wrong. Nice. Very funny. That's crazy. <laughs> Cheeto by split decision. Ooh, not a bad idea on a decision. Most people are just picking him by KO. I think that's a very limited pick. Like you, you're picking him on the on the on the reason that he can only win him one way. You know, if he finds the perfect shot. Took him four rounds to find it against Cruz. And Sandhagen is just straight up better than Cruz. I'll stand on that. I really believe that. He's just so much levels above Cruz. I really think. Thank you for the $5. Cheeto is an overrated bum with power. Bro was losing to the ghost of Frankie and Dom before finding it. True. 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 I feel like Vera invites takedowns though. Yeah, I just think he doesn't care about defending them because he knows he'll get back up in his time. You know, he has a very uh, patient mindset for the fight. He's never urgent. He just lets the fight happen. He never rushes anything, you know, which is a good approach to have, I guess. Sandhagen moves too good for Cheeto to land real clean. He does. He does. With a KO shot, you know? He's going to have to run into something, and I don't see that happening with Sandhagen. Thank you for the $5, Kong Fu Gary. Uh, Sandhagen outclasses one to four, then gets dropped in the fifth, but still wins, and Cheeto subtly talks like he won. Yeah, I can see that. He's got that Diaz mentality with it. Yeah, whereas he, he, I hurt him, though. He'd never hurt me. Yeah, if I had six rounds, I would have won. I could see it. I think Sandhagen gets dropped in one of the rounds, but I think he pops right back up. He's got a really good chin, really good underrated uh, recovery as well. If Cheeto wins against Corey, would you be shocked? I wouldn't be shocked because it would be in a very Cheeto way. If Cheeto schools Corey Sandhagen and outstrikes him, I'll be extremely shocked. I just think Corey's got him. The way Cruz was looking against Cheeto, Cruz should not be looking like that against you. You should be smoking Dominic Cruz at this point. You know what I mean? Defense a front kick upstairs from Cheeto. No, not a front kick. I could see Cheeto like catching him with a check hook as he rushes in or something along those lines. But I don't think you'll catch him with a front kick. Corey lost to Yan, who apparently sucks all of a sudden. No, he did. Do, I do, do not insult Yan. Oh, God, man. Fucking Peter Yan, dude. He was. How would Cheeto be his champ? Um, really good. Personality-wise, not too great, but I guess he would open up a whole new market of another country. So I'm sure the UFC would be big fans of him being champion. I don't think they would immediately scoff at the idea and like be against him being a champ because you know they're always looking for new markets and Ecuador would fucking boom overnight and he would massively gain a ton of attention from there. But um, yeah. I think he'd be a good champ. Plus, he'd be a fun fighter. Non-stop fun fights. He'd be one of the most entertaining fighters in the UFC for sure. What if Cheeto finished Aljo and his boyfriend? That'd be a cool scenario. I'd really root root for uh, Cheeto moving forward if that ended up happening.